Okay, so today I thought I would show you one of the many ways I do baked salmon, okay? Besides baked salmon, we're also gonna have sauteed green beans with red onions and roasted new potatoes. So let's get started. First, what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and quarter up the new potatoes and get those ready. Okay, so that's the potatoes all poured up. I've already got the green beans cleaned and ready to go, so. So this red onion is pretty big, so I'm just gonna use quarter of it. And that's going to be plenty of red onions to go with my green beans. So now I'm going to portion out the salmon. I've got uh, one good salmon steak here and it's going to be enough for two people. Okay, so next I'm gonna put the salmon on a piece of foil that hasn't been uh, greased. And it's not one of those foils that is not stiff. And the reason I do it like this is because I want the skin to stick to the foil after it's cooked so that way I can scoop the salmon uh, right off and leave the skin on the foil. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these potatoes seasoned up so we can get them in the oven. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a little olive oil on these potatoes. I use kosher salt when I'm cooking and I usually keep it in a separate container for ease of use. So we're gonna drop some kosher salt on these potatoes. I'm going to use some black pepper. A little garlic powder. It just takes a little bit. This garlic powder goes a long way. And last but not least, a little bit of paprika. Just a little bit of extra added flavor. Okay. So I'm just going to get in here, mix these up a bit. Remember you don't want to use too much olive oil. You don't want it to puddle it up on your pan. I use uh, parchment paper underneath my potatoes when I cook them. Uh, it doesn't stick and just makes it easier to clean up the pan. I've got those pretty much coated all over. I'm going to spread them out a little bit. I preheated the oven to 400 degrees and we're going to get these in the oven here in just a couple of seconds. We're also going to cook the salmon at 400 degrees. That makes it easy. The potatoes are going to cook for about 30 minutes and the salmon's going to cook for about 15 minutes. So after the potatoes have been in for about 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and throw the salmon in. So for the salmon today, what we're going to do is we're going to use a, we're going to get a little coating on top of them with some, a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise. I use Miracle Whip, I mean I use Hellman's. And then we're going to get 
about equal amount, maybe just a little bit less of Dijon mustard. And kind of mix that together. Probably about, probably about just a tablespoon of the Dijon mustard. Got all mixed up really nice together. Because this is going to go on top of the salmon. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to put just a little bit of Old Bay seasoning on the salmon to start off with. Give each one of them a good sprinkle. We're going to come back with our mayonnaise and Dijon mustard mixture. Give each one of them about a tablespoon. That's why you just need about a tablespoon of each of the mustard and the mayonnaise. We're gonna go ahead and smear those over the top. Try to get them nice and even. And then we're gonna come back with just a little bit more of the Old Bay on top of that. We got some good flavors in there. And last but not least, take our breadcrumbs. We're going to give them a nice little crunch on top. So we're just going to move some of those right on the top of the salmon. That's it. I'm gonna give them just a little bit of spray with some olive oil spray that I have. And like I said, after the potatoes have been in for about 15 minutes, I'm gonna throw the salmon in, let it go for about 15 to 16 minutes, and it's gonna be cooked just perfect for us. Okay, so I'm ready to get my potatoes in the oven. Like I said, they're gonna go in a 400 degree oven and they're gonna go in for 30 minutes. And after those have been in for about 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the salmon in with them. Okay, the potatoes have been in for about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my salmon in the oven with it. And I'm gonna go ahead and start my green beans. Uh, so they'll be ready about, everything's gonna be ready about the same time. So I'm gonna get my pan warmed up over a medium high heat. And I'm gonna add some olive oil to the pan. that warms up, I'm going to go ahead and add the green beans and the onions. Uh, I'm going to put some salt and pepper in them today. Sometimes I add garlic and paprika, but since I've already got that on with the potatoes, I'm just going to stick with the salt. The green beans and the onions all at one time. Get those situated in there pretty good. Back to just some salt. Probably about, I don't know, fourth of a teaspoon. You can salt or unsalt as much as you want. It's up to you. It's all about how you like it. And we're gonna go ahead and add some crack pepper. Okay, so these green beans have actually been cooking for about five minutes. Uh, we've kind of been moving them around a little bit in the pan from time to time. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. It's gonna create some steam for me and get the green beans cooked up the way I like them. Uh, you can cook them to the doneness you like. I like mine pretty done. Uh, some people would say that cooks out all the nutrition, but that's the way we like them. 
And we're gonna go down to about a medium, you know, medium low, okay? Okay, so it looks like these green beans are about where I want them, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the heat and leave them covered up. Okay, that sound means it's time to pull the potatoes and the salmon out of the oven, so let's see what we got. They look amazing. And, and check out that salmon. Baked salmon right there. So we've got our baked salmon, we've got our baked baby new potatoes, and we've got our sauteed green beans ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this plated up so you guys can check it out. If you want to watch, I'm going to pull the salmon off of the skin, basically with a spatula. And you want to get between the meat and the skin, and as you can see, it just slides right off. Check that out. And it leaves the skin here on uh, the foil. I'm not too big on most of that brown stuff on the bottom, so I like to kind of take some of that and rub it off. It's kind of strong. So we're going to plate this up. Got a nice salmon there. We'll grab some of these baby new potatoes. Get those on the plate. And last but not least, we are going to grab some of these green beans. If you've never had sauteed green beans with red onions, I'm telling you, you don't know what you're missing. Baked salmon, baked baby new potatoes, and sauteed green beans. It's gonna be good.